Car tester Tanju Gensh wonders how the Hyundai i20 Super Mini City Car would do on long hauls. He's going to push this i20's three-cylinder one-liter TGDI to its limits and try to find out. The Hyundai i20 comes with a choice of five gasoline-powered and two diesel engines. Tanju will be testing the most powerful gasoline engine coupled with a six-speed manual transmission. Hyundai offers four trim lines, the base i20, the classic, trend, and style. This test car is equipped with the style version. On the front end, visually well-integrated projector headlights and LED daytime running lights illuminate the road ahead. With a total length of just under four meters, the little five-door hatchback easily slips into the urban jungle's rare parking spots. The i20's rear sports numerous Hyundai design cues, like its taillights, which are also fitted with LEDs. Tanju is more than satisfied with the top style trim line he's testing. He sees its features as quite sensible, such as the front and rear parking sensors, the cruise control, and, important for colder climbs, the heated steering wheel and seats. His only complaint is that the navigation system in this test car is only available as an option for 1,200 euros extra. He sees that as a bit steep, but says it's worth the investment. It's really good. The interior has been spiffed up with chrome and piano black elements, making for an attractive ambience. The seat buckets provide good lateral support on the curves. The controls make a tidy impression. The buttons on the steering wheel stick to the essentials, the cruise control, for example. The TGDI stands for Turbo Gasoline Direct Injection and promises 22% less fuel consumption. Sufficient torque and good responsiveness mean turbo lag isn't an issue. Tanju is having lots of fun with the engine in its comfort zone between 2 and 3,000 RPM. That's where its performance really shines. With an output of 88 kilowatts, this test car has the most powerful of the i20's engines. On the highway, it reaches a top speed of 190 kilometers per hour, and it makes the run from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 10.2 seconds, fast enough to keep up with traffic without ending up stuck permanently behind a line of trucks in the right lane. One complaint Tanju has about the three-cylinder engine is that it could be more fuel efficient. Hyundai rates consumption for it at 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers. But on this test drive, it's been more like 7.6, a full three liters more. Apart from the poor mileage, though, the TGDI engine puts in a good performance for the i20. And the interior offers plenty of space for a car this size. But how does the car do on long-haul trips? The Hyundai i20 is already known as a decent city car. Today, Tanju found out it also has little problem negotiating country roads. With this engine and the style trim line, the Hyundai i20 starts at just under 20,000 euros in Germany. This super mini feels just as much at home in town or country.